Hello, students. Uh, now we are starting a new chapter that is called file handling. It is very important chapter uh, as far as uh, your examination is concerned. Now, uh, why this concept has come or why this concept uh, is using? Because uh, the meaning of file handling is uh, a very simple thing. The meaning of file is file is the collection of related records. So whatever data we want to run at the time of compiling in Python, so whatever data we are running it or whatever data we are giving it, it will store it in a single file. So the meaning of file is collection of words and the collection of words permanently stored in the file. And that file can may be a text file or binary file. So that is most important thing. We can use it uh, file only. And uh, in file handling, it also use it in the streams and the sequence of bytes. So bytes, whatever bytes are there, will store. So collection of related is stored in a file. File handling is an important part of any web application. So a uh, very important thing is concern about file handling. Uh, for example, if we want to store anything, we have to use it either Notepad or any other thing so that whatever data we want to store it permanently, we can store it. There are two types of file. In, uh, one is text file and another one is binary file. Now, what is the meaning of text file? The meaning of text file is it may be an alphabet. It using alphabets or the collection of words, characters, sentence. These are the things. So text file are structured as sequence of lines where each line include a sequence of character. Uh, one another person is also, um, uh, one another thing is also there that is called binary file. Binary file is not a text file. That is the data we store it in uh, binary file. That is not in the form of text. And in uh, text file, it will store in the form of text. Now difference, a very important difference is there. Uh, it will store in the form of ASCII character. Now what is the meaning of ASCII? American Standard Code Information and Interchange. Uh, whatever character we have to type it, it will con convert it into number and number will convert it to binary. So that is the sequence to storing the data. And same thing, uh, if you want to display in the form of character, again the binary is converted into numer numeric and numeric is converted into text. So that is the most important thing. Uh, it will use ASCII characters. Now next is uh, uh, store information in same format with the, that means binary number is there. This line of term, uh, text is terminated with end of line. Whatever end of line is there, either dotted or uh, colon is, or any other thing is there, we can use it end of line. And in case of binary, there is no delimiter is used. So delimiter is, the limiter which we can use it in the form of text. Next is some internal translation take place when this URL character is read or written. No translation required. Slower than binary file. It processes slow. Why it is slow? Because computer process binary number and binary files are, are faster. And easier. Now, very important thing. Uh, there are most of the things we can operate it. Like modes are there, like uh, write mode, read mode, append mode. These are the modes when we are uh, doing anything in the file handling. So, very first thing, whenever we are using any file handling, always use first open function. Open function is a function which can open any file. And whatever operation we have to perform it like write, read, and append. I am repeating again and again whenever you are not understanding properly. So when you operate anything like write, read, or any other thing, you have to use two function compulsory. At the time of writing, open and close. At the time of reading, open and close. At the time of append, open and close. This is very compulsory requirement. To work with a file, first of all, you have to use open a file and open a file use open function. Open function have two parameters, file name and mode. Now, what does it mean, file name? 
whatever file we are creating like abc.txt or any other thing whatever data we are giving that will store in this file like i am uh, giving uh, i am learning python file id so this will store it in this abc.txt file mode i have already given read mode write mode append mode these are the mode which you have to use it but again very first thing always use write mode for reading a purpose read mode or uh, write mode is writing a purpose read mode is reading a purpose append mode is existing file whatever data is there up to end after that it will write it values now next is uh mode clear file name object equals to open to open a file reading in a book.txt or book.txt rt that means text format read form and text format close file again i have already explained this thing close function always use it so close is a function which we can use it and uh, text file mode is r w a r plus w plus a plus x plus read and uh, append new data write and read and write plus we are using for read and write read and write file was exist otherwise there is a rest read and write file is created it does not exist a plus read and write append new data x creates the specified file return an error if file exists so this is the main thing important read write append read plus write plus append plus x create the specified file return an error if file exists T stands for text file and uh, B stands for binary file. Now, most important thing uh, working with text file read mode four operation perform it. That is also called mode. M O D E. That is also called mode. Read write mode is for writing. Read mode for reading. A mode for append. See, important thing write mode is always working when you are writing in a fresh file. Or you are writing in an existing file. If you are writing in an existing file, it will overwrite it. And if you are reading it, it will rewrite it. That is the most important. Append always append. And there are three functions are there. Use. So, uh, important thing is there. File we can use it. File name we can use it. Mode we can use it. Open function we have to use it. Write if you want to perform it and close it. Open, read, close. Open, append, close. Append means suppose you have written two lines, three lines, and you are writing it append mode. Always when you are appending, it will add it in these three, three lines. And when we are writing it, either you are writing in fresh file, it will write it here. And if you are writing in existing file, again it will overwrite it. That is the main difference between these two. That is the main thing which we can use it. So read function we have seen it. Now the thing is that some of the read and read line function we can also process it. Like uh, this program also we we'll also do practice uh, practical part right now. Helpin equals to f open d Python program book dot txt read. So whatever content is written in this file, it will read f find dot read line. Read line is a function which read the single line. Print str open close Python is an interactive language. It is a case sensitive. Now read line, read lines both. Again the same thing in read lines. Read line will read single line and read lines will read multiple line like this. Read is line if n is specific. Read n bytes. And here read all lines. So this is the difference between these two. So we'll do practical right now. Uh, how to see practical? Uh, first, again, create file, read file, print file, close. Now we see a single program. 
now this is the program which a very simple program is i am writing it program for writing content in a file writing content in a file Now, first, a file. A file actually, this is the object. This is the object. Open is a command. G git dot txt is a readable file, and W is a writing. Now, the meaning of W is we are writing the content. This this means that means whatever content we want to write it, the content will write it. So first, the, remember very important thing. Whenever you are writing anything you have to use open mode then write mode then close when you are reading it open it read it and close this is the sequence now this line this is the file writing command this command is very useful now this line will write it and this is the close now run it uh, again i am uh, telling when we want to write it any file in the content uh, git dot txt will create a file in this file w mode is there whatever content we have written just this text will written in this file write it and close now we'll run it now nothing will happen now this is the same now this will run it there is no error message now how to confirm it ki whether we have written anything or not there are two ways to see the content either you have to create a separate program for reading purpose or you have to see the uh, file where we have created now we can see we have created in this file in this folder then this folder then this folder then this folder then this folder and then this folder and this file here see this is the file right the one this command is okay see whatever uh, file location is there the same file location will create here this is the file where you have saved it ye file aapne this file you have to save it in this file and this file is created where this file is created this file ko so, jahan save kara the same location this file saved it so that is the main thing ab aapko dekhne ka tarika first this one and second one option aapke paas ek aur option hai aap usko read mode mein open kar कंटेंट बहुत ज्यादा है तो उसमें हम लोकेशन को ई पे कॉपी करते हैं नाउ वी सी this go on uh, this thing we have to use it afterwards yahan hum usko use kar rahe hain read and f file dot close this is for reading purpose now this is the thing so close the circuit and run now see first it will write it now this command will go a very different way writing mode either write it 
either write it or overwrite it. अगर लिखा हुआ है तो फिर वो overwrite होगी. If it is not written, then writing mode. Write will it? Write it. So this is the file. Write command. This command is used. Now this is the reading purpose. So whatever contained written in git dot txt, it will read it. You will read it. That is the most important thing. So I hope the concept is clear. Write mode and read mode. Now, if you want to create a separate program, you can also create it. Like hmm, I'm just writing, reading it this file, and I'm creating a new file. Location is I. Now read it. Five read. Now run it. I am not writing it here. I am just reading the content, whatever content you have written. Now this is the executable. Now important thing. Read command will read overall line. Now, more more important, another approach is used for read line. It will read one line. Now I am writing it. Suppose we are writing in a two three lines. You can write it. file ending is important two lines is coming now this command will just file will do this will look this will read again i am using it this can be no Same location will copy it. So it will create a problem. Location <laughs> now will clear the problem. Now this two lines. Now the same thing, we can use it read line. <laughs> But if you are reading read line, and again the same thing. Read read lines, and third one is read lines. You know, after the French clear way, you can use it print slash in. So in a single program, you can get everything.
three lines. Need full data. Need n bytes. Write in comments. Comments may be And read multiple lines. Now this is the thing. Let's go back and run it. So let press run will complete. First one is read, it will read full. Second one is open read 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 line only single n byte line peri line. And third one is also just see. Read line will read multiple lines. Read lines. Read line will write read single line or n byte. And read it full data or all lines. So I hope the concept is clear. Reading and writing purpose. So whenever a very simple thing, I'm revising it. File handling. If you want to, whatever we are running, you want to store permanently. We can use file handling number one. Then, when we are writing it, first create a file. Create means give the name. Write. And close. And if you are reading it, print it and close. Read. There are three reading functions. Read, read line, and read line. And then print it, then close it. So whenever you are writing or reading or append, it will uh, open and close all. Now one another mode is also there. That is called append mode. Now append mode, I will clear it. Append mode. What is the meaning of append mode? Append means A. A stands for there are two things. If already already written two lines, two line already written, and you want to add more two more, so don't use it W. Instead of W, you have to use it A. This is the append mode. Written is not. So what do we do? राइटिंग मोड को भी वापस ओपन करते हैं और राइटिंग मोड में नहीं लेंगे अपेन मोड में नहीं ये अपेन मोड फाइल ऑलरेडी लिखी हुई है अब अपेन मोड में सकते हैं इट विल ऐड एट द एंड तो लिख लेते हैं ऐड द एंड दिस लाइन तो ये अब क्या करेगा हाँ अगेन वन मोर रीड लाइन जो फंक्शन है वो आप स्पेसिफिक लाइन कर दे तो वो भी यूज कर देगा अब देखते कैसे ये राइट रीड और फिर अपेंड कर रहे फिर इसको रीड कर लेते हैं थिंग तो उसमें आपको क्लियर हो जाएगा कि अपेंड ऐड कराएगा फास्ट लिख रहे हैं हम और थोड़ा चेंजेस कर देते राइट कमांड दिस इज राइट कमांड वेरी यूजफुल कमांड Finally, very easy. Only this line we have written. This is the writing thing, the reading thing. Then, if if we are writing in W, so this line will be over, will be overwritten. But if we are writing A, so this will be written. This line is already written. 
At the end, you can also add this one. The last thing. See, very important thing. और अगर कुछ लिखा हुआ है तो अगेन इट विल ओवर राइट इट दैट इज अट नेक्स्ट थिंग और ये रीडिंग है तो रीडिंग को प्रिंट करा दे रीडिंग का प्रिंट करा वही केवल राइटिंग करते तो इट विल नॉट टू एनीथिंग ये जो हमने रीड करा है इसी रीड को प्रिंट करा ये जो फंक्शन है वो इससे लिखा है अगर केवल ये चला तो ओनली इफ यू आर रनिंग दिस सो द कंटेंट विल बी राइट इन फाइल एंड इट विल नॉट शो इट व्हेन वी आर रीडिंग एनीथिंग दैट टाइम इट विल शो इट नेक्स्ट अब हमने अपेंड का नाउ वी हैव टू डू अपेंड अब अपेंड में क्या है दिस विल एड एट द एंड लाइन तो अपेंड कर दिया पर रीड नहीं करा पर हमने यहां पर वापस रीड कर दिया तो दिस विल एड एट द एंड तो अपेंड विल एड एट द एंड ऑफ द फाइल अपेंड हमेशा फाइल के एंड में ही एड करता है This is the main thing. So I think this will clear it. The concept of writing, reading, append. Separate. You can separate. Create separate program for writing. You can create separate program for reading. You can create separate program for append. And you can also combine with writing mode, then reading, then append, then reading. Everything you can perform. so that is the most important thing now one more program we can see it like this is the thing and we want to count the character of the file so one program is there file count so e dot d dot txt creating file Yes. I'll change it. Do this. Now we are counting the characters. अब उसका तरीका क्या? How to? Again, the thing is that whatever operation you have to perform. You have to use open command, then read command, then at the end close command. This thing is required. First, I'll run it, then I'll explain. Sixty-seven characters are there. In which file? ABC dot txt. Now let's see. Four, five, six, seven, four to six, nine, thirteen, sixteen, seven, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-eight, thirty-five, thirty-seven, forty-one, forty-seven, fifty-one, fifty-nine, and eight, sixty-seven. So. ये उसका तरीका ना हाउ टू ये आपने उसको रीड कर लिया है रीड इट एंड टेक इट एज स्ट्रिंग एक स्ट्रिंग में ले लिया अब एल इक्वल्स टू एस टी आर डॉट स्प्लीट स्प्लीट मतलब उसको फैक्टर में काट दिया
तो एस टी आर डॉट स्पीड मीन स्पेक्टर में बाहर दिया उसको जहां स्पेस मिलेगी वो उसमें नंबर ऑफ काउंट करके इसमें कर देगा एंड काउंट कैरेक्टर में स्टार्ट चाहिए जैसे इसमें पावर फोर है फोर आ गए इसमें तो लूप वहां से वहां तक चल जाएगा जब लूप इलेवन फ्रॉम आई इन एल तो आई की वैल्यू पहले जीरो रहेगी जीरो पे चला वन पे चला और काउंट कैरेक्टर क्या करेंगे काउंट कैरेक्टर प्लस टू काउंट कैरेक्टर प्लस लेंथ आई उसकी लेंथ है आई की पहले जीरो है तो जीरो जोड़ा हो जाएगी वन है तो वन आ जाएगी टू है तो टू आ जाएगी थ्री है तो थ्री हो जाएगी या आप काउंटर भी कर सकते हो लेंथ काउंट करने की जरूरत नहीं काउंट कैरेक्टर इस पर काउंट कैरेक्टर प्लस वन भी कर सकते हो तो इट विल काउंट इट मतलब सारे टोटल काउंट हो जाएंगे इन ऑल द लोक्स तो इट विल प्रिंट द फाइनल कैरेक्टर उसको क्लोज कर दीजिए So I think this concept is clear. So count number of characters. So वो मैंने आपको five भी बता दिया कि मैं है also showed that five. This five में मैं show कर. So whatever content is written, it will. अब कौन कौन से which function is performing read function for reading the file? Content read, speed function. स्पीड वो आप स्पीड कर रहा है स्पीड मतलब फैक्टर्स में काट रहा है काउंट कैरेक्टर्स वन इन एल काउंट कैरेक्टर्स यहां पर लेंथ नहीं निकाले तो अगेन काउंट कैरेक्टर्स काउंट कैरेक्टर्स प्लस वन भी करेंगे तो अगेन तो मीनिंग ही इतनी है मैं करके बताया अगेन आई डू इट सो Uh, I keep it in comment mode. Plus one. One one. सिंगल लाइन ही रीड कर रहा है डिफरेंस हैव एनी यहां पर ही आया और वो सिंगल लाइन में काउंट कर रहा है ये थोड़ा सा दिक्कत है मल्टीपल लाइन में काउंट करने के लिए रीड है सिंगल लाइन में काउंट करने के लिए I think this concept is clear. Up to count number of characters we have counted. And if you have any query, write it in comment box. Thank you very much.